Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode here of Rush Roots. Today, we have John Lembo from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're going to learn all about John today. So, Jim, why don't you go ahead and ask the first question? All right. So, John, why don't you tell us yeah. how you heard about Rush? What got you into the band and what keeps you around? Sure. Well, um, so I always kind of knew kind of who they were because I always was in the drums when I was a kid. And obviously, if you're in the drums and you play the drums, you know, Neil Peart was wasn't a bad place to start. And then <laughs> and then I remember um, someone had Grace under pressure on. I don't know if it was like uh, like like a boyfriend, like a, a friend, sister's boyfriend or something like that. So I kind of got a little bit into that. That was the first uh, album I bought. And that was in about 93, 1993. I was about 15. That was the first album I bought. And it took a couple of listens to get used to it because it was nothing like I had listened to before, you know? Oh, yeah. And then as I've expressed, I listened to Kid Gloves and that really brought me in. And then around the same time, uh, in a moment of serendipity, uh, this kid in my science class had three tickets to the Counterparts tour coming to Madison Square Garden that he couldn't use. I bought one, dragged two friends with me, and I bought Chronicles to kind of like, you know, listen to some more Rush. And that show just, it changed my life because... Not only was it a great show, but it was my first real rock concert. Like I've been to concerts with my parents before. Mm -hmm. This is my first real rock concert. And we all know how fanatical Rush fans are. And mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, I fell in love with Rush and concerts at that at that point. Like, you know, when the lights come down and oh, yeah. the show's going to start and the counterparts tour had the the nut and the bolt on the big screen coming together with the this uh, 2001, the Space Odyssey music playing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And from that point on, I was I was absolutely obsessed. And also, too, at that point in my life, I was getting into like the writing aspect of, you know, I always I now want to know who wrote movies, who wrote songs. And when I opened the booklet to Grace and the Pressure and I saw lyrics by Neil Peart, I was like, he wrote the <laughs> lyrics, too. And that was like, yeah. So from that point on and uh, what's kept me around is just the music. I mean, yeah, and the cool thing is about my, my my Rush fandom was, you know, it came before like streaming and it came before YouTube. So mm -hmm. there was this little like used record store near my high school and I'd go there all the time and I would just buy whatever Rush CD I didn't have. So I really kind of found yeah. out because I had to do a lot of catching up. I mean, this, you know, I mean, Rush predates me. I was born in 78. So they had made about four or five albums before I was even born. So I had a lot of uh, catching up to do. And instead of just doing it all in one night on streaming, I bought one CD, then another CD. So yeah. it was really organic how I built up my my fandom. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That, yeah, that's cool. about how it yeah. started. That is awesome. And you, you mentioned that because um, the next question was, where is your first show, right? So Counterparts was your first show, right? Yeah. So so I, I, I got to ask you a question about, so it was a, it was an MSG, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, I I don't I I don't think I've been to MSG for a concert, but I know like when when I saw them, I saw them in in Reunion Arena at Dallas. And, and what I would always do, I'm gonna ask you if you did this too. What I always do, like if I had a balcony seat, I would walk around the balcony to the back of the stage and try to get a glimpse at the stage and at your kit from just being back there, because they let you walk on the balcony like all the way around, right? So did you ever did you ever walk around and try to glimpse? <laughs> Some of that before. Well, honestly, our, <laughs> our seats were so our seats were so bad. That was like our seat. It was like oh. <laughs> there oh, really? was the kit. Yeah. So that kind of got lucked out in that in that regard. Lucked out in that regard. That was the kit. Um, wow. you know, looking looking down, it was like uh it was it was Getty, Alex, Neil was right there. So that's pretty wow. much where our seats were. I really I didn't care how, how good or bad they were. It was just such oh, an yeah. unbelievable experience. And um you know, yeah. So I would have done that, but I didn't have to because the minute we sat down <laughs> there, there it was all the way down it there. Was, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right. So the next question is here, kind of learn your rush preferences and kind of how they evolved over time. So yeah. what was your, what would you say your first favorite song and first favorite album were when you got mm -hmm. into rush and how does that differ from kind of, I hate to use the term favorite for diehard Rush fans now, now that they're huge fans. So, right. so maybe kind of what did you what did you really like at the beginning versus kind of what do you fall back on or what do you what's your go to album nowadays? Well, you know, being that grace and the pressure is my gateway, I kind of really weed myself on the 80s, kind of the 80s rush, um, you know, the power windows and then signals and hold your fire. 
So I listen to that stuff a lot because, you know, I don't want to use the word accessible, but I think that was like, you know, you know, yeah. they were like the 10 year. And then yeah. as time went on, I've really appreciated the 70s stuff. I, I kind of go in phases. I mean, my favorite album has always been Permanent Waves. So that hasn't differed. I mean, and yeah. Kick Love is always my favorite Rush song. But, you know, if, for example, now, for whatever reason, lately, I've listened to a lot of signals. I'm, I've been into a signals phase. You know, for a while, it was Power Windows. Uh, then for a while, I was listening to For a Lot of Kings. Then I was a freshman in college, and I had a um, paper and presentation on Alzheimer's disease for a psych class. And I'm not kidding. I wrote the entire thing at my desk with my desk and listening to the Hemispheres. I don't know wow. why. Every night I would sit down and listen to Hemispheres and write this paper. And I don't know if like them being so creative, made my, I don't know what happened. But yeah, so it just kind of goes in phases. And I got like for Christmas, I got the uh, the 40th anniversary edition of Permanent Waves. So I've listened to that a lot, you know, uh, because I work from home cool. and my record players in my little office is my, my Bluetooth speakers. I listen to that. So it, it kind of goes on in stages. But um yeah, I mean, Kick Love is always my favorite, always my favorite Rush song. And I do still have a soft spot for Grace Under Pressure. I think it's a great album. It's not my favorite, but whenever I see it mentioned, it's kind of an emotional thing because that's that's the album that started me on Rush. So gotcha. Yeah. It means it means a little something extra, even if it's not my favorite one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's awesome. All right. Well, um, why don't you tell us uh, where people can find you on social media if they want to get to know you better as a Rush fan? Well, uh, I, I got to get a new, I, I got off Twitter for a while. It was just getting crazy. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Um, uh, I forgot my Instagram handle is I had to change it because I got hacked. So, but I'm on Instagram, yeah. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> so, and I also do, um, you know, I also help out with you guys with the rush admin stuff. Yep. So I put, I post on the rush page every Monday and Thursday. So those posts are, are for me, but yeah. yeah so cool. I was just about also, to say, yeah, John's John's our, our Twitter, one of our main Twitter right admins. Now. So yeah. yeah, and I'm also if you, if there's like a rush page on Facebook, I'm always like contributing. I'm not I'm not contributing like the material, but I'm always commenting. Yeah, yeah. If there's like a, a rush question or anything, cool. you know, on there, I'll always throw in my two cents. So, yeah. yep, that's awesome. Good stuff. Any uh, any rush facts about you that you want to share, or any other any other stories you might have that you think would be interesting to the viewers? Uh well, I got my I got my son who's nine. I turned him into a Rush fan pretty early, and uh, awesome. and it was funny. He it started off. I was he was he's nine now. He's gonna be ten in a few weeks. But um, he was coming. I drove home from daycare. He was like two or three, and I put in permanent. I put in uh, permanent wave. Spirit of Radio played, and the song was over. And from his back, his car seat, he went again. I'm like, okay. So I, <laughs> <laughs> that's and, what uh, you know. You just won as yeah, a parent. There. <laughs> yeah. And, and he, you know, he knew, he knew Getty, Alex and Neil, and he was like four. And uh, I actually wrote to the fan club and I got him like uh, for his birthday, they sent him like three pins, like three oh, little rush pins, which is so pretty cool. cool. Yeah. yeah I, I said it was his birthday. What can you do? And, and three days later there was a little, you know, and he thought that was great. And a little note oh, saying, dear Derek, awesome. thanks for being a rush fan. So oh, yeah, wow. it's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah. Passing it down. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right, John. Well, hey, thanks for thanks for doing this. If you're yeah. if you're watching this, um, you know, this is a way to kind of get in our, get involved in our community. If you're not comfortable doing roundtables or whatever, you want to come on and share your story. This would be the way to do it. So Rush fans at rushfans.net. Very simple email address. You can reach out to us and we'll have you on for Rush Roots. So um, with that, we will wrap. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.